So here it is, Josep Borrell. Uh, he is the foreign policy chief in European Union and he said that Russia is an economic dwarf. It's like a gas station whose owner has an atomic bomb. And today we're at um, GIMO. GIMO is the International Relations Institute and we're going to ask the students if they agree with this statement. Ah, by, by the way, uh, blank VPN link will be in the description. I have this uh, application on my phone. Do you agree with this? Obviously not. I'm here in Russia. You have a great civilization that uh, I would say is at least a thousand years old. You have your own language. You have your own culture. I think Borel's statements are spun out of ignorance or to a certain degree maybe worse arrogance. No, no, no. Russia is not like that. Russia is not, they are not like that. No, they, they are lying. Don't, don't, I don't know why the, uh, the Europeans are uh, disturbing Russia. I don't know why. Yes. Yeah. Always yeah. disturbing Russia. I don't know. And the, and the Americans too. The Russia is a very nice country, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I uh, do not. As Russia possesses an, an enclosed economy sector, it's especially concerning like the military economy and everything concerned with that. And, well, you can take a look at our city, Moscow. It's really one of the greatest city in the world well we can look at the Moscow city and see how small in his opinion the Russian economic is yeah but if we look at the numbers it's two percent of the world GDP well but still there are lots of countries that uh, that's a good question about economics I would say that mostly the power in the international arena doesn't depend on the economics only like there are lots of like military and yeah. atomic bomb that's atomic. what he said yeah but we still have a very big uh, our army like Russia has a very big army second Russia. army in the world right yeah uh, foreigners watch our videos and they say we have the second army in you well at least uh, Russia can um, produce many different things yeah we have many problems with uh, car produce uh, producing with uh, well oil exporting but at the same time uh, we can feed ourselves and uh, at the same time uh, my Estonian relatives they say that they have no fish but Estonia uh, as I know was always the country who was full of fish and they have no fish they have they have no their own bank bank in Estonia is uh, belongs to Norway so Europe is suffering and I cannot say that Russia has an economic bomb just we have many troubles yeah that's true but anyway uh, we are to solve them у нас не очень большая экономика тем не менее конечно если сравнивать все-таки со странами ЕС, со США особенно, естественно. Но у нас огромный потенциал, как у страны, все равно. У нас очень образованное население, у нас сильные технические школы, которые остались из Советского Союза. И, и эти люди не... уезжают в Америку. И... Это плохо, согласен. Усечка мозгов – это также вина нашего правительства. Ну, то есть, у нас есть умные люди. То, что они уезжают за границу и здесь не могут им предложить хороших условий, а это кого? чья проблема? Если у вас в стране есть цензура, если у вас есть возможность сесть за слова, условно говоря, то богатые, образованные люди, они будут себя чувствовать не, некомфортно просто. Им лучше переехать в другую страну будет, чтобы просто не попасть на войну, не попасть в тюрьму, например, не, не оказаться преследуемыми. I believe we're in the top 10, but not in the five place. Uh, which indicator? GDP. Mm. He said this lie, apparently, right? Yes, I think yes. And why do they lie in Europe? I, Chiefs, heads. Uh, because uh, Europe, the European Union, has um, its own interests and uh, uh, these uh, interests are aimed at the con confrontation with the Russian Federation nowadays. Oh. Be because of that, we want uh, to hold peace negotiations, but uh, nowadays uh, um, our uh, desire to hold negotiations uh, depends upon the desire of 
Ukraine and the, the European Union, the United States of America, and they don't want to hold negotiations. Sorry for interrupting, but they don't want uh, negotiations because because Russia wants territory of Ukraine, right? And uh, in March 2022, Russia don't uh, doesn't want uh, to. Uh, doesn't want uh, Ukrainian territory. There were only uh, two conditions. Uh, the Russian sovereignty over Crimea uh, that um, uh, became the part of Russia because of the results of referendum in 2014. It is uh, the main principle of the UN Charter. Uh, and um, uh, then the sovereignty of the two republics in Donbas. Uh, uh, yeah. Ukraine uh, refused uh, from uh, the implementing implement, imp implementment of uh, the Minsk agreements in uh, February 2022 but uh, then the negotiations were suspended and uh, there were uh, the, re the referendum in Donbas in Kherson in Zaporozhye and because of that our position uh, changed and uh, nowadays uh, one of the main conditions during the ne uh, negotiations potential negotiations between Ukraine and Russia should be uh, the um, appro approval of um, these referendums from Ukraine and uh, other members of international community. It's getting darker near this institute and I think we have a couple of more answers left. Sometimes I receive donations from you on buy me a coffee for example and what else uh, PayPal, Patreon and so on. Sometimes I don't reply to them but I see all of them. By the way blank VPN link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. I don't really appreciate the the demeaning way, like um, the offensive, because I think demo democracy, <laughs> diplomacy doesn't really uh, allow such such things. But Russian uh, diplomats are no better. So, do you think we'll have better uh, politicians in this field, diplomacy? <laughs> um, well, that's a provocative question. I really don't want to be expelled but it's doubtful really uh, doubtful <laughs> yeah. we already made like a couple of interviews and i think foreigners already, already uh, lost hopes actually um, no it really depends on who you're asking because there are all different kinds of people with all different kinds of views uh, and maybe you just got unlucky so if you see a boy pretty short in a suit with a tie and he's wearing loafers and he's smoking a cigarette and he's from more uh, you want to skip it skip it uh, не заправка да нет не просто заправка еще ядерная бомба есть вот он как раз это сказал ну вот и правильно сказал бомба есть okay you rely heavily on natural resources which is kind of a blessing but uh, no, you are market economy, you are integrated. Uh -huh. yeah. But why isn't it possible in Russia to create companies like Mercedes, um, what else, Apple, Google? But from my understanding, during Soviet Union you had it. Maybe you will, it will take time to come back. Yeah, but I, I believe prisoners used to work on these uh, companies, no? Yes, but slaves also helped to build America, yet they moved on, so... Every society has its how do you, short fallings, but now you are the gulags are over, no? Ni Google, ni Kodaka, ni что еще там большие компании, ни Боинга, верно? Нету ничего такого, только нефть. Разве не так? Так, но зато мы богаты были. По крайней мере раньше нефти были богаты. Ага. Кто был богат? Ну, наверное, не не вы, не вот эти люди, а там какие-то некоторые. Ну да. Но за них зато можно порадоваться. <laughs> да? Да. Ладно, а... Uh, we are trying to develop new tech companies, uh, especially after sanctions, uh, which made a lot of tech companies, uh, foreign tech companies, uh, close. And that's why, yes, I, I think after sanctions we have a lot of perspective. Don't you think that, uh, don't you have a feeling that uh, smart, educated people leave country? to at least Georgia. I hear that, I hear that. Uh, I can say that I feel that because uh, people from my surroundings, they didn't leave. However, I heard about some examples. 
But I think uh, it will end soon um, after a special military operation ends, or um, I don't know, maybe after that. I hope, I hope for that. Uh, Russia is on, uh, how can I say it? Um, in Russia it's called Nifteneigla, it means uh, dependence on oil. Uh, yeah. yeah, and we do not produce many things, but at the same time we export many things. But uh, if we cannot sell anything apart from oil, wh why not? If we can um, charge a lot of money, why not? It's just possible to diversify economics, to yeah. create high-tech companies. Yeah, exactly. We, investing money, only investing money. Uh, do we have good investment climate? Well, good investing climate, well, it's just forming, just because uh, since the past year uh, our government government decided to start investment policy, but it's just it's a matter of time. So we are to do everything we can, but now we need just a little time to show everyone that we are, we are able to do cool things in technology and other spheres, you know. Who will be doing these cool things? Smart people leave the country, I think, no? Don't you have this feeling? They leave uh, Russia, yeah, but now uh, I know because uh, no. <clears throat> uh, many people are returning now, right now, because uh, in Europe nobody needs them because uh, they are um, they are t they are just fighting for their rights, but they have no rights just because uh, they are foreign uh, or foreign residents in these countries, and in Russia they have uh, all rights. Uh, they can. Um, get a lot of um, aim, uh, get a lot of aid from the government. It's it's up to him to say things uh, for money. So other people say the truth. He's paid absolutely. So to sum it up, you don't agree with Joseph Powell? Uh, no, uh, because uh, I think uh, he would get an education here and he would understand that in Russia everything is okay. Well, not everything, but many things comparing to Europe.